n is a three digit number that's a multiple of seven what is the probability that will be a multiple of five as well quite simply we need to consider all three digit multiples of seven the number of three digit multiples of seven will sit in the denominator within this which numbers are multiples of five as well that's what we need to consider fine so the new denominator is all multiples of seven which are three digit numbers numerator is within this list what numbers happen to be multiples of five as well right? or effectively we are saying multiples of 35 the number of multiples of 35 divided by number of multiples of seven that's all we need to do now let's think about number of multiples of seven there are 900 three digit numbers the number of multiples 900 by 7 that's a good starting point if this turns out to be an integer we don't have to worry that's the answer as it turns out in this case it is not an integer right? if you do 900 divided by 7 you have 128 point something rate so it is either 128 or 129 the answer we are looking for what it is we'll have to drill down and find out fine so the very simple idea if there are 900 consecutive integers how many multiples of 7 would be there it's either 128 or 129 we cannot just divide and say it's either whether it is 128 or 129 don't round down round up approximate none of that okay. if it if it were a perfect multiple of 7 in any 700 consecutive integers there will be exactly 100 multiples of 7 no matter where we start from but is there a 900 900 is not a multiple of 7 so we cannot do this we cannot say it as 128 or 129 directly now how do we find this old fashioned method so what are we counting we are counting multiples of 7 so 105 112 119 all the way what is the last three digit number that's a multiple of 7 1001 is a multiple of 7 or 994 is a multiple of 7 okay. you can think of it as an as an arithmetic progression and find it the better method would be to write these as multiples of 7. So, this is 7 into 15, 7 into 16, 7 into 17 and so on. So, 994 by 7 that will be, we divide 994 by 7. So, this 7, 29, 4, 28, 142. So, 7 into 15, 7 into 16 all the way till 7 into 142. Out of the 142 multiples of 7, we are leaving out the first 14. We are starting from 15 or there are 128 numbers in this list. Fine. So, this is not a form-like method, but I would strongly recommend to do it by this method so that you have a clear sense of what you are counting. Okay. Now, let us go to multiples of 35, number of list numbers on this list which also happen to be multiples of 5. 105 is a multiple of 35, 140 is a multiple of 35, 175 and so on. Fine largest multiple of 35 995 divided by 35 35 into 2 is 70 995 by 70 980 is a multiple of 70 the last number here 980 would be a multiple of 35 as well this is 35 into 3 35 into 4 all the way till 70 into 14 is 980 so 35 into 28 so, out of the first 28 multiples of 35, we are leaving out 2 or there are 26 on this list or the probability that we are looking for is upon 128, we have 26. Out of 128 numbers in the list, 26 work for us or this is 13 by 16. Right. Simple idea, the key thing why we are doing this question at all in the first place is there are 900 consecutive numbers. You want to find how many multiples of 10 are there, 900 by 10, 90, done. You want to find how many multiples of 15 are there, 900 by 15, 60, done. How many multiples of 7 are there, 900 by 7 is between 128 and 129. In some cases, it could be 128, some cases, it could be 129. We cannot just plug in an answer. We cannot approximate it. We cannot round it up, round it down to the nearest integer, none of that stuff. We will have to come back to the brute force method, have some way of counting by listing down and then get to the answer. That idea is very vital.